Hey everybody, I'm back with another short video. Well, I say short, but you know, that's relative. Um, while I was waiting for stuff to transfer once again, I was looking at the rubber sitting on the desk. See, I had too much idle time on my hands, and I decided that I wanted to do a book. So it took me a couple minutes to draw a book with perspective, and I came up with this. So I'm going to cut this out, and I'm just going to go around it a little bit. I don't want to use the usual format that I've been doing, the two-by-two two thing. So... I'm going to take this. I hope I do this right. Will it go up there? Well, I may have to cut more off of here because I might have overestimated. The size issue. Okay, let's try it this way. Maybe it'll fit this way better. Aha! Ta-da! Okay. So let us rub. There's something on the other side where I tried to draw a book on the other side of the stamp. And so this was the clean side. So this is what it is going to be done on. Let me do around the edges a little more. I can see it's kind of faint. I don't draw stuff with perspective, which is what this is, but it took me two or three tries to erase the start over, so I thought I would give this a shot. So this will be my next carving. Okay, so I got it on the rubber. Hub's gone to take a shower, and I think he took the dogs with him, so now I got to do this. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be 3 a.m. again. All right, let's see. Um... First thing I'm going to do is the lines for the book because I can do those off here like this and it'll be fine. All right, now I do this one a little deeper. Actually, I think I might use this one as a little deeper to go around the book. I did that line. So let's go down this one. I like it when I can go right off the rubber and not have to worry about it. And then this one, right off the rubber, except for I can't get the piece out. Come on. There you go. Tricky little boogers. And then I'll do this one for the spine of the book. And then to go off this way, whoops, little deep, little too deep, little too deep. Ooh, that big, big old thing. Okay. Then we'll take this and we'll go off the edge here. I'm going too deep. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go deep. Don't go deep. Urgh. All right. So I did this, this, up here. Da, 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 da. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is the outside, which... is getting the rubber away from the beginning pieces that I made, the beginning marks that I made, because this is going to be a solid book. I think maybe. <laughs> you know, I start this stuff and I never know how it's going to end up. But I know that I'm having a good time. And I haven't carved in a long time, so this is like practice all over again, you know? All 
All right, so I'm gonna fast forward through this part because this is, you know, little. Okay, let's give it a quick stamp. This is a, a very quick sort of project. Since I like making books, I thought I should carve one. A scrap piece of paper. Let's see how it looks. So the last part, we'll be doing the little work on the spine. And then after that, um, I look around the edges to see Oh, hey, I don't really need to trim. Look at that. Well, I'll be. Okay, so there's a little teeny place right along here, which is this here, I think. And the spine has a little bitty place right there. And then there's an itty bitty up there. Uh, and then there's a little place right here. These little miniature things come in great for like the very fine little pieces you gotta cut off. They work great for that. A little detail work. Fine tuning. That's what we call it. Fine tuning. Okay, did it come off? And then we have a place up at the top where I think I would like to just give it a quick little go. Let me stamp it again. That's a little too shabby, huh? Kind of like an open book. And there we have it. A very small little project again with a little piece that just happened all by itself. So there it is. I really like it. So now we're going to jelly plate. Okay, so I'm going to do the green first. If I can get it open, there we go. I'll explain the rationale in a minute. Not my favorite shade of green, to be honest with you. I'm not into the pale things like this. All right, there's that. And since I drew on the back side, I think I pretty much know which way this is going to go. This has been a lot of fun just using scraps. Oops, fingerprint. And this is how we fix it. Oh look, a corner. <laughs> I'll do the bottom here. 
would like this to be sort of like material. You know, there's no right or wrong direction for it. It's not directional per se. I'm right over the vent for the heat, so it, and I closed it, but it is still blowing warm air. And so I think that's what's drying out my stuff very quickly. Last time I checked the temperature, it was 20 some odd degrees. Okay. Some of these are not going to be as dark as others. So I feel safe opening, I mean, doing the yellow right away because I just don't think it's going to matter because it's, the green's probably already dried from the heat and then the ceiling fan to spread the heat. Which is pushing it all over here, I guess, the rate we're going. <laughs> all right. Let's roll that. Oh, do we have a piece of paper? Oh, 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 I think I have one left. Oh, I got two. Oh, four. Oh, I'm actually prepared. Ooh. Write that down. <laughs> okay. My husband's in the living room sewing on a button. That's why it's so quiet in here. I think he meant to go take a shower and wanted to wear a shirt and noticed the button was missing, so he's sewing a button on. Thank you, United States Navy, for teaching my husband to sew a button on. Okay. There we go. My books. And the reason I want them like this is so I can write my name on the book. And it's Bass Ackwards. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I carved it so it would be... <laughs> okay, well, that's just a different way of looking at the book. <laughs> Look at them. They're all... Wait, let me see. Where's the one I did in the corner? See, the one in the corner, it's facing this way. I meant for it to go this way. Okay. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. It was a lot of fun. All right, let me try a different color. So I don't usually use this gray. I thought I'd give it a shake and see what it's like. So I, I think I've only used it once since I bought it. So I thought I'd give it a try. Wow, there's a lot of paint on here. Okay, probably way too much. Oh yeah, I can tell from the roll off. I put too much paint on there. And I can hear you guys screaming, too much paint. <laughs> All right. So my book is backwards. <laughs> oh my word. Come on, come up. Yee. Yeah. I don't think stamping it's going to help, but we'll try. Let's go this way with it and off the edge. As I heard someone say one time, it's more interesting. So I'll take their word for it. I can't remember who told me that. I guess I watched a video or something and someone said doing it off the edge of the paper makes it more interesting. I have no idea. It's just something I've done ever since. Okay, this one needs to be restamped because, whoop, there's my thumb. Dead gum it. I don't want to put my thumb in here. Mm -hmm. 
it's because I put too much paint on here. It's not dried off enough. Nope. Okay. Let's get it off the stamp. <laughs> I have my bowl in the kitchen soaking with the other two stamps that I did today. And then I'll take a used toothbrush and I will give them a good, oh, that's lovely, a good scrub in the, um, in the nooks and crannies so that the paint doesn't pile up in the areas it's not supposed to. Well, stinkers, I wonder if I can re-stamp this. Hello. Okay, let's do a couple others that are too painty. I think this one needs it more than any one other one. Let's do this one. Oh, I hate leaving my thumb dots on here. Dot, dot. Okay, let's try this one. Without the thumb dot. Oh, nice. I'll do this one again. Thankfully, this is a simple enough design that I can line it up pretty close to what it was. Because I can see it. There we go. All right, so I'm not going to put paint on it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I mean, another coat of paint because I want the white on the book. Oh, I forgot to do the detail on the spine. Oh, poo. Well, I might have to forget it or else do it later. Okay. Oh, come on. Pull, 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 pull. There we go. They don't even look like books. <laughs> they look like crystals. <laughs> okay, perhaps it needed to color on the back side. <laughs> Fatui. Okay. So let's do the gray again. I really I want to see this work. So I'm gonna do gray again. Only not so much this time. Gray, gray, gray. Roll off. My roll off paper is really thick. It feels like material now after doing it so many times. Okay, where's the stamp, Vicki? Where'd you put it? Here, we're close here. Get out. Did I lose it already? Here it is. <laughs> Be like, are you crazy? I just had it in my hand. side this way and then we'll do the top here go across here there we go Should have left a little more room in there. Maybe I need to make the lines on the spine and the top a little more defined. I'm not sure. I don't want to fool with it. I'm afraid I'll mess it up. Let's 
see what we get. I want a surface I can write on. That's why I did it with the light color in the background. It's because I want to be able to write on the books. I might have to get me a bigger, I mean, a, um, carve a larger book. One that faces the right direction this time. <laughs> All right, more paper. Let's try this and see how it goes. on the edge of the jelly plate. It's a paint booger. Okay, I may have to draw lines in it. It's hard to see the book in it. Okay, so maybe I have to make my um, lines deeper, but I need to wash it first because it's really full of acrylic paint. I mean, you can barely see the lines with the acrylic paint. So I'm gonna go soak this and then redo the lines a little bit. But for the most part, I'm kind of pleased the way it turned out even though my book is backwards. Eh. Still a book. See you guys later. Bye.